Some families say they're stressed about what comes next as Regina schools prepare to welcome back students to the classroom on Monday. It'll be the first time in weeks students will be face to face with their classmates and teachers. Shanna Cardinal's daughter is in grade 11. Even though masks will be worn and other public health measures are expected to be followed, she says the back and forth of remote and in-class learning is taking its toll on both her and her daughter. She's nervous about returning. We can control our own bubble, but we can't control everybody else's bubble. So in order for her to go back to school and feel safe, she uh, needs a plan. And we're, we're working on that to get her through the next few days before she returns next week. Cardinal and her daughter aren't alone. Grade 10 student Mercedes Phillips has similar feelings. Pretty much disappointed and sort of fearful for the future in the next couple of weeks coming up. The Regina Public and Catholic School Board say their decisions come after declining COVID case numbers among school-age children. But by many other metrics, Regina is worse than when the move to online learning was announced. That includes hospitalizations, active cases, and deaths. Meanwhile, one epidemiologist says it doesn't make sense to return to school when few things have actually improved. And he says school divisions need to be upfront about their decision making. They have decided to reopen and, you know, go back to in-person, um, you know, uh, learning in schools. They have to actually explain to the community uh, on, on what basis are they really doing that? You know, what, are, what has changed? Both Regina's public and separate school boards maintain their decisions were made after consultation with public health officials. They say they are prepared to switch back to at-home learning if the guidance changes. Alexander Kwan, CBC News.